Ah. Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Ah. Yo, easy. Yeah. J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? What's up guys, it's Sean Mayo here, and today we're going to be looking at Abe the Main. Uh, this is a great smaller site uh, that has a, um, a ton of good electronics, it has cameras and uh, small appliances, computers, all that kind of stuff. Um, I believe right now there's only about 48 categories, but uh, this is a bulk list we're only selling for about uh, 5 bucks, so um, you know, you're not losing a whole lot there so uh, we're just going to go through i'm going to show you how we um how we do our filters how we uh get discounts and deals and um how to create a list and all that good stuff so uh here we are at abe's domain it is a uh a upc site they've been around uh forever um as you can see the the store has been there since 1979 obviously not selling online that long so um we're going to look at their format we're going to see that uh, if we click here it's going to bring it over into um into your category field so uh everything of course needs to be in this uh in this format uh as well as have 30 products per page when we do a search so uh if it doesn't come out that way then we have to figure all that out on our own uh, and of course our start page uh, we're going to start on page one uh, and uh, let's just go look at a um, at a search uh, if we bring up this search we'll see exactly what uh, it's supposed to look like uh, and these are the led oled televisions and okay great so uh here's what we got we've got uh on the TVs here we can three the, see there's three pages uh, 30 uh, per page so all we need to do is uh, if we're gonna use this we're gonna enter one for the first one three for the last page and we'll be ready to search um, we can of course narrow all this down by by pricing by brands uh, if you need to narrow down your searches at all Uh, and we can go back to the main store and look at anything uh, we want. So uh, if we wanted to just hit, um, let's say, projectors, uh, we're going to narrow that down uh, to two pages. Um, so that's about all there is to it. If you want to check out the uh, the ball clips, this is what they look like. Um, it's going to put everything right in the correct template for you. Uh, the store will only sell it for five bucks, so you can see in the description uh, below the links to get there. Um, we have it sorted by the most amount of pages first to the least, um, and you can sort that and all that good stuff. And you can run this whole store in um, a relatively short amount of time, you know, depending on the time of year. Uh, and uh, that's about all there is to it. Now I'll show you how to either make your own bulk list or upload one. Uh, it's very easy to do. Um, what we're going to do is click on use bulk and then this orange button for upload new file is going to open up. So you click on upload new file and you're going to have access to your blank templates. Now even as many lists that we've made, hundreds of them, um, we still use this bulk template every single time. Uh, so what you're going to do is just click here uh, if you're just going to be doing one site and I'm not going to cover this right now but uh, if you want to do multiple sites it's down here you can read the instructions yourself uh, so we're going to click here and we're going to download a new template open it up uh, I'm using Excel uh, but Google Sheets work uh, quite easy as well uh, so Here's the template, so all we need to do is pull out um, our links that we're going to put in. Uh, so as it shows in the template, we're just going to paste our category in, uh, what we want as our start page, what we want as our end page, uh, and that's all there is to it. You can do this as many times uh, as you want. Um, up to 400 lines are supported. 
So you can start on any page, end on any page you want. Um, and you can do it, as I said, up to 400 lines. Uh, after 400 lines, uh, it won't work. And, um, and then you're going to uh, be able to upload this. It's going to run each line one at a time. So it doesn't run these all at the same time. Uh, it's going to run them in a series. So it's going to do this line. It's going to start on page one, get to page 10. It's going to do the next one, start on page one, get to page 10, and then or page four, and uh, it's just going to keep going till it gets to the end, or until 48 hours are elapsed. After 48 hours, your bulk upload list is going to automatically end. Uh, so once you've created that and saved it as a CSV, uh, and if you're on a Mac, um, you need to do the Windows version of CSV, uh, then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, upload it right here on the same page again. Uh, you click on Browse, select your file. Once you select your file, just click Upload. Uh, you're going to select, you still have to select the store. And now we're going to uh, select our filters again. So I'm just going to use last filters, click on submit. Uh, and then as you can see, uh, it's now running. Uh, it's, it's showing you you're on row one of row uh, 331 rows that we just uploaded. If you want to see what's going on, you can click on bulk uploads there. It's going to show you uh, the exact lines, the page you said to start on, the page you said to end on. Um, and uh, it's going to run them one at a time. It shows you your page number, your current page, the current product. It's expecting 657 items, uh, how many have been checked, and how many have been added to your list. Uh, and that's all there is to that now. If you, um, if you buy one of our bulk lists, it's very simple to do as well. Uh, we're going to go to uh, one of our bulk lists here. You can see this one has about 2,000 uh, lines. Of course, you can't use all 2,000 lines um, because it has a limit of 400. Uh, so a couple of the things that, uh, that we do, we never run. Um, we wouldn't just take the first 400 lines in here and run it. These are sorted by the biggest ones first because that's what you guys said you were most interested in, running the biggest category. So we sort them largest to smallest. Now, um, what I suggest when you're building your own list, you, we see grocery, we see health, we see all kinds of different products here. So what we're going to do is uh, sort this. It'll be, we're in Excel, so I'm uh, just showing you the way we do it in Excel. And... Uh, what we do here is uh, we're going to select data, and we're going to sort, um, expand the selection, of course, and uh, I'm going to select by uh, the full name, and I'm going to sort uh, A to Z, uh, whatever uh, editor you're using for editing your CSV files. It may work a little different, but um, it, it all basically is the same thing. You're going to go to your sort page, and you're going to sort it by this column D, and now we can see it's in alphabetical order. Uh, shop um, for this store is the main um, is the main search, and then under that it's going to show you the category. Some will say home, some say shop. Um, it depends on how the store gave us the data. So we see now we have all the baby and uh, together, all the electronics, all the garden and patio, and of course you know you're going to do different searches for shoes than electronics and grocery. You know. So um, what we do is we select either the category if it's big enough or maybe a few categories that would go together, like maybe grocery and health and beauty uh, together. So uh, now we have all the baby and then, of course, the subcategories under that are together and the subcategory and the sub subcategories and, and so on. Uh, so now what, what we do is uh, you're going to just want to delete whatever uh, you don't want. So if we just want to scan uh, baby, we're going to delete everything that's not baby. Uh, so really, the, um, other than sorting, you only really have two steps here. So uh, you delete the lines that you don't want. Uh, you sort if you need to. You delete the lines you don't want. And then you're going to delete column D. And we have that very... Um, very plain and simply here. Full name, you must delete this column D before the scan will work. Uh, so you just uh, right click on it and uh, delete. And now you have a file in the exact uh, template needed to upload 
into tactical arbitrage and you upload it the exact way that I just just showed you and the scan's going to uh, run exactly the same. It's going to do the first line and then the second and the next line and on and on uh, in, until it's done or until 48 hours uh, has elapsed. So um, one last note, if if your file doesn't look like this, if you didn't see this, the four columns, if it looks completely different, then you're editing the wrong file. So you need to, uh, you get two files when you buy the list from me. Um, one of them uh, is labeled bulk, one may be labeled something else. You need the one that has the word bulk in the title um, or in, in the file name. Um, or you're working with the wrong one for it has all the bulk information But you would have to create your own file from scratch. So we give you this one. You need to use the one labeled bulk um, and now we're gonna now The last thing I want to show you is uh, your store price uh, reductions, which is every um, Any discount you're going to use at any store. I'm going to show you how we use to get our gift cards how we use uh, our cashback sites um, and uh, you can't just add these together because these store price reductions work one at a time. It's going to take the first amount off, then the second amount, and the third amount. Uh, so if you added these up, it would be a completely different number. Uh, so uh, the way it works is, and if you don't have one of these, uh, you don't just skip one and go to two. You would, you know, still put the first one you have in that space. So um, the first one would be, if you had a discount, let's say 20% off uh, from the store directly. So you're going to get that 20% off before you pay. Uh, so you get your 20% off your total. And then uh, if we have a gift card site, and I'm going to show you the gift card site that I use, which is called CardBear. Uh, and this isn't a site that sells any uh, any gift cards. What they do is they, um, they check um, most of the top. Uh, gift card sites and they're going to show you what the best deal is. They also track pricing and you can set alerts. Um, so what we do is, uh, we're I'm just going to select one at random here, let's say CVS, they have 17.6% off. So now these are the top sites to get these from. Uh, we can see card pool is, um, is sold out, card cash is 17% off. Raise a 17.3% off. It shows you what the current discount is, what the average discount is. You can see based on this graph that these prices are way higher. So, uh, you know, I'm probably going to come back and buy a bunch of these uh, after this video, but um, you're going to want to, when it's in this kind of scenario, you're going to want to buy um, because this is way higher than it normally is. And then you can just click on these links and it's going to take you. So if you click on in stock, it's going to take you right to the raise site where you can order those cards. Um, uh, the other thing you can do here is set a notification. I think this is a great time to buy right now, but let's say you didn't want to buy until it hit 20%. If it hits 20%, um, we can see it uh, practically never does that. Um, but we can hit that and enter our email address right here and uh, click on set up alert and it's going to send us a notice every time it hits uh, that discount from now on. And as you can see, uh, it's going w way over a year. Right? At this point, it's about a year. Right here, it's probably two years worth of history um, for this site. Uh, some, it may not have been tracking that long, but uh, for this one, uh, it's showing we have uh, two years of history. We know what times of year that all the spikes are, when the prices are the cheapest. We know um, what it's recently been. We have the current discount. We have the average discount. We have the prices from multiple sites, and it's all in one place. Um, so uh, I'm sure this is an affiliate site. They get some kind of affiliate money because there's no advertisement and they don't even sell anything. So uh, this is a... Um, a great site that we use. We use this for everything. And, um, you know, just go to cardbear.com, whatever site you're looking for. So, um, for example, if we had, um, if we got this at 17.5, we're going to just enter 17.5 here. Uh, and after all this goes through, I'll, I'll explain, uh, you know, what the differences are. Um, so the last site that we use is called Cashback Monitor. So if we go to cashbackmonitor.com, 
Uh, and again, we're going to enter CVS here. So this is going to show us all the best sites to get um, cash back from. So I'm assuming that they don't have a deal with CVS. Okay, so maybe CVS doesn't do cash back. So um, let's just pick one here, um, RalphLauren.com. So now, um, now what this is going to show us is once we go to this site, we can see how many people are looking at this, how many people have made this their favorites, so we know how popular of a store it is. We can see all the cashback sites, but not only that, we're going to see um, all the the amount of points you get per dollar spent for for my uh, for travel miles if you have a travel credit card, um, and if you use credit card points, it's going to show you this. And there are some that have uh, some other kinds of rewards that you might see a couple over here, but um, none for this store. So now if you're using, you know, a site like, let's say, Mr. Rebates or, um, you know, You Promise is a popular one or Ebates, you know, everybody seems to use Ebates. So if you're only using Ebates, you'd get 2.5% cash back if you just went to Ebates for every site you did. Um, but Splendor and Extra Bucks are giving you 8% back. So that's more than triple what you would have been using if you just used Ebates. Or double, uh, you know, if you use something like You Promise. So, you know, it does take a little bit more time. You're going to have to set up, you know, uh, accounts at these sites as you find them um, to get cash back from. But uh, in the long run, you're saving, you're going to be making a ton more money. You know, it takes a couple minutes to set up an account and then, uh, you know, you're going to have that account forever. You're just going to have to log in uh, and go through there. So now if we're using Splendor, you know, um, and we're kind of calling different sites together. But uh, if we use that, then we'd have 8% back there. So as you can see, you know, in this scenario, you know, we'd be getting like 45% cash back. And that's not unheard of. I, I get 20% cash back. Um, you know, if you're using Kohl's, or, uh, we have a list of a ton of sites that, that have discounts all the time. And I'll show you that in a minute. But... Um, we're able to do scenarios like this all the time where, you know, you're getting 10 to 30% in a gift card and then 5 to 10% cash back uh, with cash back sites and store discounts. Um, so when we look at this, uh, and one other thing uh, about the cash back sites, um, these numbers change almost every day. So you can't say, oh, well, I'm going to go back to Splendor. I'm going to go to You Promise or Ebates because they had 8% cash back, you know, last week. It doesn't work that way. You know, today Splendor has it, but um, next week uh, Mr. Rebates may have a three-day special or a weekend special. So they do uh, they do deals with different cash back sites, you know, short-term deals for maybe only a few days to get, uh, to get these, um, to get their customers in and that higher rate where they're promoting it. You know, so next week it may be something else. You know, Ebates may always be at 2.5%, but, you know, maybe a special weekend for, you know, Black Friday or a holiday, they're getting an extra 5%, so they're going to be pushing all their customers there uh, for that short term, and hopefully they stay with that site. Um, you know, so we recommend you you check this site every time you make, make a purchase. Um, so if we're looking at this, we're going to get 20% off before we pay. So, um, you know, we can't add all these numbers together because the money you're saving is, uh, is going to be, um, at each step, it's going to be costing less money. So, you know, a $100 item is now only $20, 20% uh, off, which would be $20 off. So now you're getting uh, a discount not on $100. You're getting a discount. Um, you're going to get your discounted gift card on 17% um, off of the $80. And after you pay for that, you're going to get cash back based on your discounted total, which would be 17% off of uh, the $80. So you're saving something like another, you know, $14. So you're not saving 17.5% off of 100. It's now $14 off. 
So now you're at like $66 and you're going to get 8% off of the $66. You're not getting it off of the $100 if you follow me. So you can't add all these numbers together um, because you would be thinking you're getting a much bigger discount than you, um, than you actually are. And when you enter all these in, it's going to compute this when you're running um, all of this stuff. So, uh, you know, you don't need to buy the the discounted gift cards up front, but you should be buying, um, sh you should be checking it so you're getting those discounts because when other people aren't adding these discounts in and they need a 50% ROI or what, whatever the profit margin is that you need, uh, then it's taking all of them people out of the equation because now you have something with a 30% ROI or a 40% ROI and you're able to um, use these discounts when your competition didn't and now you're over your 50 percent limit so you know it was 30 or 40 percent now it's maybe 60 or 70 percent roi you're making and it just knocks so many other people out because if they're using tactical arbitrage or another tool for sourcing it's going to have that hard cutoff if you say 50 percent it's going to remove everything under 50 percent so now they're not even seeing those deals uh, that you're going to be making way more than 50% ROI. Uh, so I, we use gift cards for everything, discounted gift cards, cash back sites. We use everything that's available to us. Uh, and the last thing that I want to show you is our beta, um, what we're calling a beta step ahead tactical uh, sourcing sheet, um, which is, uh, we charge $24.97 for this. Um, just real quick, and if you're looking for all those deals, then you can see um, we get we sign up for the email uh, emails for all 300 plus sites supported by Tactical Arbitrage, and then um, we put all these into a spreadsheet. So we know each site that's doing has all these deals: 20% off of one item, you know, 25% off the whole store, whatever the deal is when it starts, when it ends, links to it how much we get for discounted gift cards, what we get for cash back, um, and a bunch more information. Uh, if you're interested in that, you can go to beta.seanmayo.com, and um, that's all I'm going to say about that. But, um, you know, this, that's how we figure out where to start at. This is how we end. And thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any more questions, any specific stores you want me to do. Uh, we're definitely open to, um, you know, making one of these for any and every store that you're sourcing at. So um, let me know and we'll, uh, we'll do whatever we can to help you out. Thanks for watching.